Rosslier Strand, located in the sunny southeast and traditionally a hotspot for many, is the destination of the EnergyQuarter.ie team. We are here to view the construction of the first of eight individually certified passive houses. A passive house developed by the Passive House Institute in Germany is an energy efficient building with year round comfort, providing healthy living conditions to live and work. The appearance of a passive house does not need to differ from a conventional house and living in it does not require any lifestyle changes. Let's meet the people behind the project. We've been having a look at the passive houses for the last four or five years. You know, I was interested in it and uh, this little project in Rosslayer has presented itself. The house basically is a uh, two-storey approximately 1,800 square feet. It's a three-bedroom stroke, four-bedroom. We have a room downstairs that can be used for a bedroom, meeting room, an office, and that, you know, if we have some people working from home, they can use that as an office. And I suppose we're unique in uh, this particular development in that um, we're Irish, our timber frame, Shoalwater is Wexford. Um, once they're joined, we have joined in with us. Um, to produce the first uh, fully passive certified window and we've used them in this house and you know which I think is it's a very unique occasion and I'm delighted that we have it here in Wexford. I would be hoping that people will have the interest, they will look into what we're doing, they will have studied it, you know, they will be up to speed on it and uh, now we are providing that type of house for anyone who wants it. The ground floor is um, is more or less a conventional ground floor except that the insulation standards have been increased. Its uh, thickness is 200 where basically uh, current regs would suggest you know you use 100 mil insulation in your floor slab and uh, the real extra detailing is at the junction of the floor slab with the wall and this is again to cut out thermal bridging and uh, there's a specific detail that we've worked up which is a combination of PIR insulation on the outside, a quinlite block and then uh, more PIR on the inside. The old perimeter insulation of 25 mil thickness has been replaced with a 100 mil thickness. The, the external wall is, a, is an extension of a traditional timber frame wall in that you have a, an outer leaf of blockwork and a cavity and then uh, an inner tim structural timber frame leaf. We just extended the inner timber frame leaf out to nine inches rather than the more usual six inches and have a serviced cavity inside the timber frame. So your overall wall thickness now is actually measures out at 510 millimetres from external face of plaster to internal face of plaster. Whereas an airtight membrane then uh, placed um, between the service cavity and the nine inch timber frame. The U value that we're achieving on the wall is 0 0.12, which is well inside current regulations, of course. We've got zero um, cold bridging, which is required under, under the Passive House Certification System. Through uh, Mossart, who were involved in the certification of the house, uh, we were able to maintain an, our Passive Certification. We've been doing timber frame for Michael now for about 10 years on standard timber frame and, and a good quality timber frame so um, I suppose the passive side of things is something myself and Michael have been interest, interested in there for maybe five six years now. It's a kind of a, a journey the two of us have gone on basically. We've been doing a very high standard timber frame uh, from day one basically. Uh, we manufacture and direct so there's uh, no issues between the factory and the site in, in terms of quality. Uh, all our guys are fully qualified uh, carpenters. They've all trained here in, in the workshop themselves from the time they left school. So um, it's easy to carry the quality on when, when those guys leave the factory to go to the site to put the house up. With the slowdown in, in the industry in general, we find that uh, there's a good selection of, of tradesmen there who are willing to sit down and listen. The biggest challenge, uh, um, I think, has been uh, the windows because um, up to now all the windows have been imported. The U value of the window meets the passive house standard uh, of 0 0.85 watts per square meter Kelvin. Yeah. It's a triple glazed PVC window and it's very very well priced. We were the first ones to use 
um, their window in a, in a certified passive house. We use a pole mechanical ventilation unit and uh, we've designed it in such a way that we've we've tried to achieve maximum efficiency of the system. The passive standard measures the efficiency of the system as opposed to the unit and we're at uh, 91% there. The chimney is a traditional feature in, in an Irish house and we've been able to incorporate it in the design, uh, albeit that the chimney is far healthier in, a, in this house than it would be in a conventional house from the point of view that you have no smoke escape in, into the room which is always been a contentious issue with open fires. It's an inset stove set into the fireplace and its efficiency is working out at something like 65% compared to a standard open fire of 30%. You know, down the road in years to come, um, I see uh, our ordinary standard two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom house. There should be no reason why we cannot build to a passive standard and have it bring it in within a cost range that's available to everyone who needs a, needs a house. During the construction of this dwelling, and right from the very start, we had to work to minute details, to millimetres. And it's an area that's close to my heart in that I believe um, that a lot of houses are built. Uh, there's no quality, there's no policing, and it's just a matter of throwing up boxes and handing them over to people, which I, I don't agree with at all. I, I believe that... Um, if someone is uh, entering into a mortgage, you know, managing maybe from 15 to 40 years, um, it's probably the biggest investment a lot of people will have in their lifetime. They deserve to be handed a quality product. And in a passive house, you're getting a top quality product. Mm -hmm.